What is up, everybody? It's your boy Roka. So, you guys are seeing my shop, and it is freaking crowded tonight. Um, I don't know what the occasion is. I guess everybody, since that people didn't play on Valentine's, they didn't want to come out to play today. I did ask a couple of players. Apparently, they might be trying to do two tournaments, like half goat, half not goat. The tournament organizer told me they have like 30 people tonight. So, new format. Everybody excited. Um, I did modify my deck list from last week for you guys that watched that video. If you didn't check it out, um, I took out the cross eyed designators. It wasn't really filling it. And I'm opting for more Nibiru in the main deck alongside of, um, what's that card called? Rory Decree in the side deck, because I saw Labyrinth is an amazing deck, and I figured Rory Decree would be really good for that matchup, because if you go first, set Rory Decree, they lose. They set five, they don't really have a hard way to get rid of that unless they side in like back row removal. And then everything else, if I go first, I'm pretty confident. So yeah, man, we're gonna get into it. Um, with all of being said, without further ado, let's begin. All right, guys, coming to round one. Tournament ended up playing with my boy Sharky in his Dark World deck. He did mention he was doing some spicy combo. However, he didn't uh, wasn't, wasn't able to pull it off. He kind of drew bad game one, so he just had one pass. I had Hero Lives, full combo, OTK, GG, no re. He just scooped it up so we can go to game two. Coming to the game two, unfortunately for him, he just kind of bricked. So, yeah, man, I'm going to catch you guys on the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, round one is over. My opponent bricked twice, unfortunately, which sucks. Um, but, yeah. He's still testing out his list. I'm about to open up my packs now to see exactly what I opened. And let's see what we're going to do here. So let's see. Hope I got an ulti. I don't know why these packs are curved. This is the first time I've ever opened a terminal pack, y'all, that it came out curved. So let me just see exactly what's going on. Come on, ulti. Come on, ulti. Ah, that sucks. Okay, let's see. Next up, next up, next up. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, all crap. So, yeah, so far, not so good as far as my pools. Um, my second game I did, aside from the Evelyn's, I drew it, but um, yeah. So, I'm just trying to see how many rounds it's going to be. It's probably going to be like five rounds. I'm hoping it's four rounds, though. I do see, like I said, it's 30 plus players. Everybody's testing out their lists. Um, I'm expecting typically like what we saw from the YCS. Labyrinth, like my boy Anthony right here is playing Castiras, which is good. Um, so hopefully I draw my Nibiru and or um, something to out the Castiras because that deck is dirty and they can just lock out your zone. So guess I'll catch you guys at the round two, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm going to round two. The tournament ended up playing as Death by OTK, a deck I literally haven't seen in about six or seven years. This was definitely surprising considering like this deck used to get on my nerves back in the day. But I do know once I make Dark Law, they can't really out it. So... Um, obviously, I went first. I wanted to die roll, thank God. And my hand wasn't that great. So I just decided to end on like Sunrise or Plasma, which ain't terrible. I'm sorry, Plasma DPE. Which ain't terrible. However, my opponent did have the freaking Kaiju to get rid of my DP, which sucks. So I guess he was prepared for Cash Tiros. And he started popping off with his Death Boss doing combos. I had the Nibiru. But my hand was kind of mid. And like I said, I had burnt through my resources like crazy. So I didn't need him. I tried to come back with DPE. Tried to come back with Ab Zero. He eventually banished my DPE with one of his guys. Which I'm like, oh my god, that sucks. Then he started spamming and he started coming back. So this was definitely a back and forth game. He trish at me. I was like, what? <laughs> I was just literally thinking like myself like, man, I am literally getting whooped like it's 2018 all over again. 2017 all over again. So I tried to grind back. Uh, my last play was Dread Decimator. I was calculating life points, but unfortunately for me, I was still like 100, 200 points shy of victory. So even though I was able to do all that, I still wasn't enough. So he's actually going to end up taking this game one because Dread Decimator was all I had, and he was just going to put his monsters in attack mode and OTK me. So GG, no read. And not to mention as well, his Despot monster boosts up the defense, so I couldn't OTK regardless. Coming to the game two, I opted to go first. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lose to this. Um, so I'm like, let me just hope I draw good. And I drew amazing, man. I drew a god hand. And this is one of my, one of those good hero hands where I'm gonna end on like DPE, um, Sunriser, freaking Master of Contrast Hero Chaos, the works, right? So as you guys can see, like my my field, my ending board's gonna be lit. And this is for all the people who said, oh, heroes can't have in the game. Like, bro, heroes is, is amazing. I got DPE, Sunriser, Contrast Hero Chaos, Dark Law. Yeah, it was he my opponent couldn't do much. That was too much pressure for him. Come to the game three. Um, we're pretty much close in time. We did take a long time with our games. 
my opponent is gonna burn himself with life points and he's gonna flip rivalry on me and you guys already know rivalry does nothing against a pure hero deck so that was gg no rematch. so i'm gonna catch you guys in the next clip man y'all stay tuned all right guys round two is over oh my god let me get the lighting better i ended up beating death spot type of deck what's up i'm sorry i gotta tell you what's up all right so round two I just drew him because I ran out of time. It'd be like that, bro. Combo long. Oh, it, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. So, I realized, what I, I realized a lesson of when I played you. Yeah. It's three cards I got to play like risky or boost money. Three cards? Okay. You might just have to take them out of just play technically. You'll get that, bro. Because pretty much, cause, uh, let's just say it like this. The same the deck I'm doing it with. Yeah. I'm doing your concept. Okay, well, good stuff, so, man. I'm taking Heroes concept and I'm putting it in a, a whole other deck. All right, well, good luck with that, man. So everybody, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is just, like, technical. It's not about what deck you play. Enjoy what you play. Oh, yeah, you for sure. Learn how to, just learn how to use your brain. For sure, Sharky. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I played I play against freaking um, my boy Sharky. Check him out. He had a YouTube machine man Simmons. Anyway, um, yeah, I had um, beat play Death Spots. Didn't expect the deck at all. Game one, he came back and won because he had Kaiju and he had Valor and he had everything he needed to beat me. Game two, I got it because I opened up a God Hand and I drew into like everything I needed off the liquid. DPE, Dark Law, freaking Contra Zero Chaos, the works. He couldn't do anything, he lost. Game three, he bricked set three. All three cards in set was rivalry. He said he wasn't that experienced playing against heroes, so rivalry was dead against me and I just OTK'd him. So, yeah, we're about to start round three. There should be two more rounds left. I'll catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm going to round three. The tournament ended up playing against my boy Joey and his Plunder Patrol deck. Now, he did mention to me that he was going to test out the Kaiju Plunders. And this build he got is actually not just Kaiju Plunders, but it's Kaiju Adventure Token Plunders. So this is actually a really good game. I kind of wish we actually had this as a pre-recorded, slow-paced game. Because it was literally 40 minutes. I think this would have been a perfect game for YouTube. Um, so I started off first strong. I actually opened up the God Hand once again with the Contra Zero Chaos play. Doing the Soul of Sunriser, he's just reading everything. He actually did not know um, Contra Zero Chaos existed because he was confused how I brought it out. I'm like, hey, yeah, the first line of text they always considered him um, Elemental Hero, which is why you can Miracle Future him out. So as you guys can see, I'm on Sunriser, DPE, got the Dark Hall play, got the Contra Zero Chaos play. I overthought my play. I burned my negation on the Adventure Token spell. I probably should have waited, give or take, only because the adventure token spell. Um, it, I was scared of Griffin. I was scared of Griffin, and it almost cost me. I got lucky because he ended up playing TTT Thrust, the new one, setting in the Kaiju Slumber, and then, and I'm sorry, he got it somewhat. No, he added it to his hand. I'm sorry, he, he added it to his hand because I had monsters on the board. I Dark Law banished it. I luckily rolled the dice and hit the um, TTT Thrust. I mean, sorry, the interrupt the Kaiju Slumber. Then he, he ends up playing the other TTT, taking my Dark Claw, try to come back, and what literally saved my butt in that game, as you guys can see, was Book of Eclipse because um, it was a chain link we did, and I chained Book of Eclipse, put all his monsters face down. I didn't change my battle position yet, so I put my monsters back up, face up, with the exception of DP, and that allowed me to extend to a OCK because the plunders work on equipping things to, to themselves and when they're book face down they can't equip and yeah it's kind of like all she wrote coming to game two um he actually made me go first surprisingly that was mainly because he, his deck is purely otk based with kaijus so he doesn't really care about omni negates and things like that um I, I didn't have an amazing hand this um time but i did start off dark law sunriser which is something and i was kind of thought i was gonna kind of win um he had but he had some plays for days and I literally forgot that the Adventure Token engine is so annoying because even without Griffin, they can still use the stupid spell card as a free um, spot removal. So alongside everything else, he just was able to just start to come back. And I started to grind back even more with um, Ab Zero, but we were running long time, but this is like 40 minutes, almost 30 some minutes into the tournament. And we're going back and forth, I'm trying to win, and but I just couldn't put enough damage on board. So he's gonna get it in time, we drew. All right, guys, round three is over. I ended up drawing with my boy Joey with his Plunder Patrol. I know you guys want that profile, so let me know if you guys want that in the comment section down below. But, yeah, intense game. Um, I got a game one because of Contra Zero Chaos. Game two came down to the wire, but he ended up getting it before time got called. So, yeah, I wish we could have played it out, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to change my battery, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, coming to the final round of the tournament. Ended up playing against Exo Sister, and I got to tell you guys, I legit forgot how to play against this deck. I've been playing against it in a couple weeks, playing against a different player using the list. 
So my starting field wasn't that good in the known. I was trying to end on like Sunriser DPE and maybe Plasma. Actually, I did do that. My opponent had the Nibiru, which sucked. And I figured, okay, I'm probably going to lose this game because I did overextend to make um, Plasma. I was considering, but I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm already pretty much undefeated with a draw. Let me just risk it see what happens. If I played more conservative, I would have been better off. Luckily for me, DPE was running his board for a while. I did have mass change as well. And Anki would allow me to put more pressure on his board. Coming to game two, like I said, this is where I started messing up against his deck. Considering I didn't really see him rush the field too much with monsters game one, I thought I forgot. I know they can make XYZ monsters, but I'm like, they can really play under four summons. I sided out my Nibiru's like a goofy. Cause I had Book of Eclipse and I had um, Twin Twister. He had the judgment for the um, Eclipse, on, which sucked, unfortunately. And he just had too much field advantage on the GG No Read in game two. And then coming into game three, it was a really tough game. I forgot what I sided in. I just know I was going first. And I don't believe, actually, I did make Hero Live. It did pop off. It just, I didn't really, I was going to go for the um, Contra Zero Chaos play, and I didn't go for it, and I ended up paying for it. So I'm going to catch you guys on the next clip. All right, I'm recording on my phone. My GoPro is dead. Um, dad mid-game. I won game one against my sister. Uh, really good game. And then um, I lost game two and three. Game two, he just whooped me. And then game three, I went for a play. I had Hero Live, Mass Charge, Fusion Destiny. I wanted to go full combo, but... I kind of did the combo and um, I didn't draw anything. So I, I should have went for the guaranteed play to make contrast instead of trying to go luck into drawing. I got a little too overconfident and I paid for it, honestly. But that's not saying I would have guaranteed to win anyway. The Omni game would have been better than um, a deck that don't really care about their graveyard. So, finish the tournament today, X11, um, with the game three. But yeah, the deck's list is still consists and I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, man, we vlogging old school style like I used to back in the day. So I ended up getting 10th place because there's so many freaking people here. So didn't get prizing because I went X11. That draw killed me. Oh, my God. I'm still annoyed that I kind of like, I didn't even say I'm a misplay. I kind of like gambled game three. And I should have just did a standard play of Contra Zero Chaos. I would have been in a better position. I have a good Exo system matchup. But once they pop off, it's kind of annoying. So. We'll get, let me get home to closing statements, and then we're going to go from that, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Back at home. Now, it's actually Saturday. Um, The tournament happened on Tuesday. I had fun, man. Heroes, like I said, it's still a solid deck choice. Even though Dark Lord doesn't do much this format, the fact that deck, at least my build, I know everyone's not running it. At least in my build, I'm spamming Omni Negate. I'm pitting the pressure on with Anki. And... DP, Dark Law, and Plasma are still viable floodgates. Now, once again, I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. I really wish I would have um, discovered this combo for Contra Zero Chaos during national season because technically, I think we had Hero Lives at two at the time. The combo was still legal. So I think I'm just really curious on how good I would have did um, at nationals because, yeah, this, this you guys see, you guys are seeing what every turn the past three tournaments I've been running this combo. Every other game, Contrast, DPE, Dark Law. Contrast, DPE, Dark Law. And it's seeming way more consistent. I, and then I gotta admit, I even gave it credit for it because it's a three card combo. But outside of the base three card combo that I showed in my hero combo video, by the way, check that out. It's an awesome combo video. There's multiple different ways to hit the contrast. Sometimes you don't even need mass charge. You can go Anki, run over a hero, search out another mass change, play mass change, run over another monster, main phase two, combo with Ferris. Then you're gonna end up with DP, contrast, sunriser. And DP with a negate, it's you know, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's still really good. I will admit though, I got lucky dodging cash heroes in the tournament. Cash Tiros was in the room. My boy Anthony was running. I think he finished either X1 or he just won the event. And there's a lot of meta in this room. But this format, from what I'm seeing, is not. It's very more diverse than the last format. Last format, we had Crystal Beast. We had Heroes. We had a lot of Bestials everywhere just running the room. Now it's Cash Tiros. And everybody just main deck in three Eclipse, three Nibiru's, or stuff to beat Cash Tiros. And... At least from what I'm saying, Cast Heroes is not that big of a threat. It's not unbeatable. Um, um, they do have to dodge Nibiru. That is a real thing. And with the variety of rogue decks in the room, I think it'd be really bad um, to like discount Heroes as a viable pick because 
while we might have a hard time against cash tiers because Dark Lotus is the only thing, my build at least has Contras Hero Chaos, but for you hero players that don't want to play the Contras Hero Chaos stuff, you still have to worry about Exo Sisters. You still got to worry about Crystal Beast. You still got to worry about all these other decks that matter because those, if you go to a big event, those decks might knock out the cash tier players. You might play against a few of those decks in addition to cash tier players, and you're already over proper cash tier. So it's a lot of variables when it comes to card games. You guys should not just be scared of one deck when there's a multitude of decks going around. And not to mention, Despia is the second best deck, arguably the best deck, because of that stupid gimmick puppet combo. So tell me what you guys think about this video. Comment section down below. Um, I do. I'm going to try to bring you guys more content. I've just been really focusing on getting my personal life in order. Like I said, just became a personal trainer. Uh, I got interviews lined up next week, and I'm really busy. So I got my top five best road deck video coming out. You guys are going to get this video tomorrow, which is part of my next week. And I'm still thinking about something else I'm going to upload for you guys. I'm thinking I might get either another deck profile for the channel, or I might just get you guys like a dual video. We're going to figure it out. But yeah, man, it's your boy Rogue. Bring you guys more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. If you guys made it to the end of this video, do hashtag Henshin in the comments. Or just pick something like, hey, I made it to the end of the video. All right, man. Peace. Stay innovative. Deuces. You guys have a great rest of the day. Also, like the video, too.